Hello everybody, welcome to another quick tip video from Sniffle Valve. Uh, this one's going to be about using a Lifter LMS, uh, the LMS uh, plugin for WordPress, along with Elementor. Now, Elementor and Lifter uh, get along together pretty good the way it is. You can do uh, lessons, courses, uh, my courses uh, with Elementor, but course catalog and membership catalog are two pages that are not really pages, they're actually archives uh, what are being displayed on those two. And uh, of course, if you try to edit them directly uh, with Elementor, you'll get this. Let me just switch back over to the back end here. Wrong one. So here we go to pages. And here is our course catalog. And if we try going edit with Elementor, we're going to get this. The old dreaded preview could not be loaded. Well, that's depressing. So let's go fix that. Because now with Elementor 2.0, or actually Elementor Pro 2.0, uh, you can create an archive template. So go to Elementor, My Templates, New. We're going to select the Archive, and we're going to call it Course Catalog. Create Template. Did I just type in catalog. I did, didn't I? Oh, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and we don't want a, a template. We're going to make our own. Because really, uh, there is only uh, one thing we need to do here, pretty much. And uh, as you can see here, I've got the uh, fleximent, fleximental, <laughs> flexible element or panel uh, plugin installed. Uh, which allows me to do all sorts of cool things. If you notice this, uh, we can collapse them all, expand them all. Uh, the biggest thing is you can do this. You can drag them around. So if you're doing anything with theme elements, this is really handy because it puts it right. You can put it right at the top, and everything is here. So uh, because this is an archive we're building, we want the archive posts. And, of course, it's pulling up the default post, but that's okay. And uh, for this exercise, we're going to say we just want one column because we really only have uh, the one course in our course catalog. So then now we can do some other things. Uh, for one thing, we don't need any metadata here, so let's go get rid of these two. That's all we want. And then we need to do some styling. So for uh, the content, uh, not the uh, we need some typography. Let's go and wind up the title. Oh, I don't know, about 40. That sounds good to me. And the excerpt, uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. Say 18. And we'll leave the read more on there and everything. And uh, like I said, uh, if you were to use the uh, archive title, I'll just drag it in here to show you. Uh, you're going to get this archives and then it'll go blah, blah, uh, course catalog. Well, that's not really what we want to see. So we can make our own here. Uh, so let's get rid of that. And uh, we'll just uh, add a basic heading element here on top. And we'll call that one Course Catalog. Catalog. I spelt it right this time, correctly this time, right? And uh, we're going to do something like this and give us some padding. Oh, I don't know. A 20. That looks good. We're going to style this a little bit text color. We're going to make it white. Where did it go? Go to the advanced tab, down to the background, 
set the color and to this uh, mine shaft black and then here comes the important part publish add a condition all archives no we want course archive right here and that's all we want hit publish waiting for that to update I'm gonna come over here now here we are on the front end of the site and we'll just do a quick refresh and here you have your Elementor created course catalog page uh, now one thing I'm going to do here and let me see if we can do that and we'll make it the uh, full and update see if that here is that and it does so that's it uh, that's how you can get the uh, an elementor created uh, course catalog archive page looking a little bit better than the uh, um, out of the box version from lifter and you do the same thing uh, for the membership catalog of course selecting uh, uh, membership archive as the uh, display condition okay so thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time